This discussion is intended to share with you three brief ideas that might serve to make the neutral zone more bearable. The first of these is redesign. And workflows every now and then need redesign. I remember a number of years ago we were working a concession stand at a rodeo. Had a whole bunch of us old men in there. Boy, we were slapping hamburgers, wrapping stuff. We thought we had it down. Uh, one of the wives of our group walked in and she looked around and she said, man, said, y'all just, y'all could do this a whole lot easier. And I think her husband said, well, if you do it better, you show us how. Well, lo and behold, she did. She made a couple of shifts in our flow of hamburger making. I mean, just we stepped in the clouds. We were slamming burgers everywhere. Well, sometimes work design need, workflow needs redesign. The design and redesign often can be accomplished by those who stand a little bit on the outside. Never be afraid to bring in outside consultants. Never be afraid to bring in those that may not actually work in a specific area to look at strategies for redesign. But redesign is often important as we journey through the neutral zone, particularly as we begin to implement new strategies and new ideas. Oh man, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive, I mean not to clarify. We need the examination of our purpose. That is always in vogue. Every area is wise to sit down and describe among themselves as to why they exist and what they are about. A question is uh, that is often asked is who is my customer? Uh, what do I do for my customers and how might I better serve my customers? Customers may be internal and external. A uh, pretty interesting idea. It gets down to our purpose and lets us examine it for improvement purposes. The last of these is simply the idea to involve everyone. A lot of times managers become very elitist. We think we're the only ones that know anything. The truth is that in that organization that we serve that there's a lot of knowledge um, book and tacit knowledge held by those that have been there that serve in varying positions. Uh, I'm reminded a number of years ago when I had a, a timing belt break on a car in Fort Worth. I pulled my car off on the side and I was sitting there in it and called a record. Uh, cars whizzing by on the interstate. The old boy in the record walked up and he's hooking me up and he said, son, what do you do? Now, this old man was in his 70s, the old record driver. And I said, well, I, I teach for Texas A&M uh, University Commerce. He said, you got a doctorate degree? I said, yes, sir. He said, you know, I didn't graduate high school. I work for this record service. Well, you know, I felt pretty good there. Here I am, PhD, talking to someone who doesn't have a high school diploma. He looked at me and said, son, he said, I didn't graduate high school. But he said, let me give you some advice. Next time you break a timing belt and your car is here beside the interstate, he said, you get out and set about 30 feet up there. He said, I picked up the bodies of four or five people that sat in their cars because these guys flying along hit them from behind and killed them. Pretty interesting idea, isn't it? PhD got put in his place by someone without a high school diploma. In fact, sometimes the custodians, sometimes the secretarial administrative staff, administrative support staff know a lot of things. And if we will just simply involve them, they will appreciate the involvement. They love the organization too, and they may have some really great insight. Involve everyone in the discussions.